Hello, dear family in Jesus Christ. Greetings. I hope you are all well. Uh, this is Stephen, follower of the Way Worship Jesus channel. And it's uh, Sunday, the 19th of uh, September in the year 2021. And this is Scarborough Sea, part of the sand and some rocks. And uh, if you're new to this channel, then this is about, my channel is about, well, I'm a street preacher. I preach the gospel of salvation, which gives people everlasting life and a place in heaven. Because there's no other name under heaven given to us by which we must be saved. It is Jesus Christ. Only Jesus Christ will you make it to heaven. Only through Jesus. There is no other way. No other way. I'm not going to even mention the names of these other gods. But they're not going to help you. Only the Lord Jesus will help you doesn't matter what you have done Jesus will receive you if you believe the gospel that Jesus was crucified on the cross for all your sins believe that he was buried and on the third day he rose again from the dead you believe that you call upon Jesus and it's a done deal you believe it from your heart you say yes I believe Lord Jesus that you you died for me. Yes, I believe it from my heart. Lord Jesus, yes, I believe you took the penalty for all my sins on the cross. Yes, I believe. Lord Jesus, come into my life. As long as you believe in your heart, as soon as you believe in your heart, you are justified. But then you have to confess with your mouth unto salvation. You must say, come into my life Lord Jesus or something similar so that's the gospel believe that Jesus died for all your sins on the cross that he was raised to life on the third day believe it in your heart call upon him because he loves you and you will be saved that's the gospel simple as that and you will never lose your salvation your salvation is so sure that you can't even take yourself out of his hand. That's how sure it is. So that's the gospel. And I've come here today, I've come here down here for you guys to do this video, because I know you like um, the videos. You usually comment and say that you like them. So I, I do this just for you guys. Yeah, I, I love you as well, by the way. I love you all. Whoever you are, I love you. Moreover, um, Jesus Christ loves you. The King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Our Lord, our beautiful Lord Jesus. He loves you more than I could ever love you. But I love you as well. And my heart is melted when I read them comments. And put a torch on the phone. I don't think it's any difference. Um, yes, my heart is melted when I read when I read the comments, because they're so beautiful. Um, what you write and say, um, oh, you really touched my heart. And so thank you as well. Thank you for all you who, who comment and, and thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your support. Thank you all. This is Scarborough. I'm just down on the seafront of Scarborough. That over there is, is, is the castle on the hill. Castle of Scarborough, ancient castle. I don't know how old it is, uh, but that hotel there is called the Grand Hotel. Gra Grand Hotel, the big one. That's what Grand means. Anyway, if you haven't accepted Jesus Christ, please do so, because time is almost up. Jesus is coming. He's about to take his church, his bride, out of this world and then the, the wrath of God and the tribulation will start seven years of hell on earth basically when God pours out his wrath and his judgments upon this world 
that has an uh, unbelieving, unrepenting world which has turned its back on the living God. God will pour out his judgment during this time um, upon the earth and upon the people. And you don't want to be here for it if, if you're not saved already. Sweat it, swap hands, hold on. So um, the tribulation is about to start. It, it looks like it's already starting, but um, the Lord knows when he's going to come. But don't you feel, don't you feel, what I feel like today in my heart, it, it's like we're at the end. That's how I feel. We're at the end. The end of the race, I think. Um, that's what it feels like to me today. The atmosphere is the end. I, I don't know. Uh, the end of this world. I don't want to be all doom, doom and gloom, but I'm just telling you what's what's coming. The wrath of God and the seven-year tribulation which we are not appointed to. All believers will be taken up in the rapture. Every single born again believer is going up in the rapture. Whether they've sorted out their lives or not, they are going up in the rapture. So be of good cheer, be of good comfort if you are saved. And remember you have all power over the enemy and remember, he that made the ears, does he not hear? So he will answer your prayers. He hears every single word. He sees everything. He sees what you're going through right now. Um, trust him. Trust him. Turn to the Lord. Turn to the Lord. Trust him. Cry out to him. Uh, Anyway, this is just a quick update, guys. Uh, obviously, I'm not preaching. I haven't been, haven't been preaching today. I, need, I needed to have a day off. I don't know about tomorrow. Um, I, I might go on, on my own. Um, I quite like going on my own. I also like going with Andrea. So, whatever happens, I will continue to shout the gospel. <laughs> um, I'll in the streets as long as I'm here God willing I will so if you don't see me in another video it will be because we've gone up Jesus has come with God I don't know when he's coming but he might he might come today and he could be tonight I, I we have to remain watching because he's coming he's coming like a thief in the night Anyway, God bless you all. Jesus loves you all. I'm going to make this a short video because it's, done, it's getting the night. The night's coming. The night's over on that side and the sun's going down over that side. And uh, you won't be able to see once I uh, go through this tunnel over here. Oh, it's got this lighted. It's all right. Oh, you might be able to see even better. So anyway, guys, this... This whole co complex that I'm coming up to is called the Spa Complex, where many famous artists, pop artists, actors, also comedians, all kinds of uh, famous people come to the to the Spa Complex in Scarborough. Um, anyway, that's where I'm just heading up to now. Anyway, I love you guys. I love you guys so much. Um, I thank you all for your prayers. I thank you all for your support. I just, I'm overwhelmed when I look at the comments and I see how all the, read all the beautiful words you put in the comments. It, it melts my heart. Some people just put, God bless you, and and I'm blessed by it. I am. Um, Definitely blessed by your comments. I'll just turn this off. Yeah, uh, so, I love you all. I'm going to make this video short. Just updating you, just letting you know that I'm I'm okay. Um, yeah, today's not been a bad day. Managed to tell 
a couple of people about Jesus and some so some people that I know um, today that I've met I know that they they believe they don't believe what they don't believe is the religious side of it um, a lot of people religion they don't want to know about religion but the guy I was talking to today Danny uh, he he knows there's a God um, which is good, he knows there's a God, and I talk, talked to him, told him the gospel, I even sent it in a text afterwards, so he would know for sure, um, so yeah, that's what I've been doing today, uh, I went to see him, and I also went to see somebody else, another, another friend of mine, um, I've had a day off the preaching, uh, oh, I gave somebody a tract, on the bus as well. I went to the bus to visit this friend who lives in a village village just next to Scarborough. So I went to see him and uh, gave this old man a tract. Anyway, and uh, so I just had a bit of a rest day. Oh, so, sometimes, I, I'm sorry if I don't get back to the emails straight away. It's because, um, that they stick them, in, stick them in my spam box. Um, usually put them in my spam box, my spam file. So uh, I forget to look in it and 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 read your emails. But thank you all for all your emails, your comments, wonderful things that you say. And you say that you say stuff like, "Well, we all love you, Stephen," and that it just makes me feel so well loved, you know, and uh, it's just lovely, I'll just show you, this, this is what's called in Scarborough the, the spa complex, I told you where all these famous people come and, and uh, uh, entertainment centre basically, uh, but if you look inside here, um, you, you've got the, well, it's better than that, you've got the Masonic black and white checkered floor, which is Masonic symbology of oh, that's worse uh, du duality duality that's why they use the black and the white to get it where's the window there there you can see it better through there yeah yeah that's it that, that black and white tiles is in every single uh, Masonic hall lodge and these lodges are in every Every city, every town, every town in this country, um, most major towns have something, si something symbolising uh, the Freemasons. Uh, that, that's obviously this place is owned and controlled by Freemasons. Everything is. Uh, that's the truth. The Freemasons are controlling everything. The top-ranking Freemasons. I mean, all, all the leaders are top ranking 33 degree Freemasons. Anyway, I won't get into that. Uh, I don't even know if I've ever done a video that's come up to night time before. But I, I attempted a few times to make this video and botched it up. Uh, I accidentally clicked my finger on the, the off button and I'd done a, a wonderful job as well talking to you guys, but I hope I hope this has blessed you. Be blessed. Let me think of something. Um, the Lord is gracious and full of compassion. The Lord is slow to anger and of great mercy. The Lord is quick to forgive. Uh, let me th think what else. Uh, remember your words are powerful. You, you, have, you, have, you have authority over the enemy. And your words are powerful. Um, take your authority over the devil. He hasn't got power over you. It's the other way round. Satan, all these wicked spirits are in subjection to you. You have the power over them. All born again believers. Um, <clears throat> hold a minute. Uh, yeah, and your words. You, you can tear people down with those words. You can build build people up with your words 
You can even build yourself up with your own words, like I do, for example. In the morning, I, I stand up, I put on the, the whole armour of God, I gird my loins with truth. So I'm girded with the truth, and I put on the breastplate of righteousness, and then fit my feet in the preparation of the gospel of peace. I take the shield of faith, the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the spirit, the word of God. And I do that every single morning. I, I Sometimes I'll do it two or three times a day. And I, I know what each piece means, um, spiritually speaking. I, I understand it all. And um, I, I know I prefer to do that before I pray at all. I prefer to make sure I've got the full armour of God on first before I pray. Anyway, guys, um, <clears throat> I'm going to have to get off because it's, it's dark and I can't see where I'm going and uh, it's hard doing the video at the same time, but oh, I love you all. I love you all. Jesus might even come tonight and it could be we are on the brink Wow, who would have believed that we, we are going to be the ones to witness, to be, to be partakers of uh, the first resurrection, the, the, the harpazo. We're going to be taken up into heaven. I know we are because I've, I've, I've seen it in a vision myself going up. I know we are, but God will, God will have full control over us and um, we, we won't um, give us all the power we need and it will fly upwards and this is going to happen at any moment. Who would have known that we would have been the generation that's, you know, going to see the Lord where well, we are and it could, I might not even finish the end of this video. That's how close we are to his coming. So if you haven't laid hold of salvation, Please do. Jesus loves you very much. He's not willing that any should perish. Don't be left behind. No born again believer will be left behind. I, I can promise from God that every single born again believer, whether they've sorted their lives out or not, are going up in the rapture. Don't believe me? Ask God and he will confirm it to you. All born again believers are going in the rapture. So that's that. Anyway, I love you all very much. I'm going to get off. Um, tomorrow I'm going to hopefully go preaching. I don't know where. Um, I don't know if Andrea will be coming with me or not. It'll probably be on my own. And if that's the case, then it would be likely to be York because that's. Um, I think it's about 40 miles, 45 miles away. Um, <clears throat> so it takes about 45, it takes 45 minutes to get there. And um, it's a town, it used to actually be the capital of England, York, once upon a time. If you believe that, that's true, that's true history. York was the capital of England. York City, where I preach. And um, it was, it was owned by the, the Vikings. It was owned by the Romans. It's, got, it's full of Roman uh, history and Viking history. That's where I'm going tomorrow, hopefully, to preach. I'm going to do it now while, I, while I've got the chance, you know. I'm going to keep on preaching, God willing. I pray, Lord, yes, continue to use me. Send me, Lord, and I will go. <coughs> um, I will continue preaching right up until the moment we are caught up, harpazo, any second now. How wonderful it's going to be. I love you all. We're going up there soon, through those clouds, past those clouds, and to, to such a beautiful place, and seeing the Lord Jesus. God bless you. I love you all, guys. See you in the next video.